Hello everyone, this is Linda and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would look at one of the more common Google login errors. When you want to access private data in your application, you need to authorize your application to access that user's private data. To do that, you first need to set up your application to use Google's authentication server and configure your application to use OAuth2 to request consent from the user to access their private data. There are some things that need to be configured, and when you configure them incorrectly, you'll get an error. And one of the most common errors is called redirect URI mismatch. There are actually two versions of this error, one for server-sided web applications and the second for client-sided web applications. Today, I thought we'd look at the latter, how to fix the redirect URI mismatch from JavaScript. This error is different because it has to do with the JavaScript origin. The key with this error is that it says JavaScript origin in the error message. It will also give you a link to the redirect URI that your application gave it when it ran. The easiest way for me to show you how to fix this error is to first create an example where we get the error. So if that sounds like a good idea to you, let's give it a go. Here is a simple application which connects to the Google Drive API and lists the files on the user's account. I'm going to use Google Sign In, which will give us a button that we can click to authorize the user, and a simple text area where we can display the data returned from the API. Let's go through the code a bit. The first thing you do is you add the client ID in order to connect to Google. We need first to register our application with Google Developer Console. To use JavaScript, you'll be creating a web client. I have another video which will show you how to create a web client. Why don't you go check out that video first and then come back once you've created your client ID. Remember to enable the Google Drive API under library or this won't work. Okay, welcome back. And I assume that you now have a client ID and you are ready to go. So add it to the code. Now we are going to make a call to the method once the authorization is returned from Google Sign In. We're going to be using the Google API JavaScript client library in order to do this. And I've added a link to the open source project below. First, we need to do is we need to load the API that we want to add, including the version. The first call, we will load the API we want to use, in this case, version three of the Google Drive API. Once that is done, we can call the files list method to make a request to the API. To limit the amount of data being returned, I've added the optional parameter of fields so that we only get back the ID and the file name. Once that is done, we can just call a method which will display the results into our text area. Finally, don't forget to add the library at the bottom. Okay, that's it. Let's try and run our code. Well, we got an error, but that was kind of the point of this video anyways. So what does this error tell us? So what do we do wrong with our code? Well, actually, there's nothing wrong with our code. If we read the error message, we can see that the issue is actually that the JavaScript origin hasn't been configured properly. And then it tells us to go over to Google Developer Console and to configure it. We need to take the exact URL that the error message told us. And I mean exact. You, if it has a trailing slash, you need the trailing slash. If it has ports, you need to include the ports. It needs to be exactly the same or you will not fix this error. If your error message happens to include a URL that's been encoded, try and decode it first and then add it in Google Developer Console under JavaScript Origins. Okay, 
Let's try and run it again. Well, that's a good sign. It's popping up asking me to log in and it's requesting consent. And look at that, we have data. That's it. We have now fixed the redirect UI mismatch with a client cited JavaScript. And you should now understand that the error is related to the JavaScript origin configuration in the Google Developer Console. In the description box below, you can find a public gist to the actual code that I've used. I want to thank Eric Hilleman and Philip Bick, please forgive me if I messed up your names, for doing a bit of code review on this. It's always nice having friends who are willing to check out your code before you put up a video. That's it today and I hope you enjoyed this video and please remember to give it a like. It helps me to know which videos you'd like to see more of. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. I'm going to put up another video on how to deal with the redirect URI mismatch from a server-sided web application shortly. If it's live at the time you're watching this video, it should pop up here. If not, wait a couple of days and it should be up soon. I hope to have it up next week. That's all I have for now. And as always, I hope you have a really great day.